Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is about fixing the issue with GTA 5. While launching the game, you got an error, failed Zlib call. Please reboot, verify the game data or reinstall the game. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, go ahead and verify the integrity of the game files. If you are using Steam, go to the library, right click on your game, choose option properties, click on installed files and choose the option verify integrity of game files. Once it is done, try to launch the game. If you are using Epic Launcher, go ahead, launch your Epic Games Launcher, go to the library, click on three dot icon and choose option manage and over here, simply click on the option verify to verify integrity of the game files. If this method failed to work out, let's proceed with the second step. Open up your browser and a higher tool with the name WinMD5. Scroll down and click on it to download this tool into your system. Once downloaded, open the zip folder and double click on WinMD5. Choose the option run to run this particular folder. Now this method will verify each and every file of the GTA 5 and the file which is giving you the error, you need to delete the file. I'll explain you how to do that. Launch this file and then open the directory of the game. At my end, the game is available in F drive Rockstar Games GTA 5 folder. Here is the game. In the game folder, you will find a lot of files with the extension .rpf. These are all the files with .rpf extension. So what you need to do is to one by one drag and drop each file into this particular tool. For example, I select this file x64b. I'll select it and then drop it right in the software. It has started computing and now it has given me a md5 checksum value which is this one. So you need to verify this value with this particular details. I have written here the exact value and if this value doesn't match you need to delete that particular file. For example, I have checked the file with the name x64b and next to it here is the checksum file. You need to verify this checksum with the value right over here. You can see both values are same which means that the file with the name x64b is ok. I will try x64a. Again I will drag and drop the file right over here. Now it has computed the value. Now let's verify here is the file x64a and here is the value next to it. But right over here the value doesn't match. So at this point of time, if the value doesn't match, you need to delete this particular file. Here is the file x64a. Simply right click and choose the option delete. One by one, you need to verify all the files with the extension .rpf available right over here. Once verified, delete the problematic file and once it is deleted, go ahead and re-verify the integrity of the game files as I have shown you in the method one and this will completely fix out the issue of GTA 5 failed Zlib call. However, if this seems pretty hectic or you found difficulty verifying the checksum, all you need to do is to select all the files with the extension .rpf. Select each and every file right in the directory of the game. Once you select all the files, right click and choose option delete. Once deleted, again re-verify the integrity of the game files using the method 1 and this will completely fix out the issue of GTA 5 fails that lib call. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.